What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today in Sekiro's Shadows Die Twice, I'm going to be showing you the best area to farm XP, Sen, um, Adamanite, and uh, Scrap Magnetite. In my opinion, the upper tower and a chamber is the best spot. Now, what you're essentially going to do once you get here, this is going to be late game, so a lot of people are generally going to be starting out. So if you're starting out, and you're just barely playing this game this probably this this area probably isn't for you now i've been following the immortal severance and the return endings so essentially what you want to do is um once you have reached so far in the game as to where areas have been blocked off and you have to go to uh the near secret passage to get to the final ending and you've unlocked the um, demon of hatred or you haven't unlocked the demon of hatred and you're here to this point essentially all you want to do is just kill this enemy um, an endless amount of times you can do it and he's going to drop really great items he's going to drop um, adamantite scrap scrap magnetite a whole bunch of resources that are useful and pro efficient towards maximizing your prosthetic tool upgrades so there we just got scrap magnetite which is pretty awesome so one thing i want to point out to you guys every 10 seconds we're getting 116 sen every 60 seconds we're getting 696 sen every hour we're getting 41,760 sen for XP, we're getting 1,052 XP every 10 seconds, 6,312 XP every 60 seconds, and 378,720 XP every hour. So, this is probably one of the best, if not the best, areas in the game where you can farm XP if you're not on your second playthrough. Um, this is also going to be a pretty great area if you're on your second playthrough or your third playthrough or your fourth playthrough. This is generally a really great area for farming XP um, universally, depending if um, whether you're on your first playthrough, your second playthrough, or your third playthrough. But either way, if you're on your first playthrough and you need a late game farming guide for getting your XP up so that you can get your skill points and maximize your your skill tree for all of your shinobi arts your prosthetic arts your ashina arts your temple arts and your mushin arts this is going to be a pretty great area pretty great source for all of these locations in general and it's going to be pretty beneficial if you need to acquire all skills for your height of technique trophy um, and also can be very useful towards your master of the prosthetic trophy for upgrading all prosthetic tools for their limit which will essentially take place like right here master of prosthetic is here height of technique is there um, but uh yeah guys um i hope you enjoyed this video uh, i hope it was helpful uh, just want to point out real quick before you guys click off I there are other areas that are great for farming like the gun fort which is great for people who are midway through the game and then Ashina castle or Ashina outskirts the Ashina castle gate which is great for people who are early on in the game who need farming and then another great area is going to be Fountainhead Palace, Mibu Manor, Flower Viewing Stage, and uh, Vermilion Bridge. Those are all some pretty great areas for farming XP. So I just wanted to point those out. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end off the video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already. Subscribe, turn on notifications. It really help me out a lot. I'm getting close to 100,000 subscribers, and every little bit helps. So even if you just like subscribe and you don't watch my videos, that helps too. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.